Right, people, I refuse to do this anymore. This is the last attempt at this. I made the fatal error of trying this in the rain to start with. Don't do that. So, the first one was, uh, yeah, in the rain on slicks. So then I went to wet. Then I went back to the dry, only to find I still had wets on. But and, and it just and and the, the AI, as you're about to say, is on 110 percent and on. I'm not quite sure what they're on, but I'm sure it's illegal and quite deadly to those around them. Um, it's uh, it's not it's not good. <laughs> you can't drive these cars by reacting. There's only so much reaction you can do in them, and they'll bite you. And when the AI is doing silly things in front of you, it's going to end badly. So I'm just taking safe lines, take advantage of this first lap where they're all backing up on each other. Right, loads the same squarely in, in, in front of you. I will have you as you go wide and get the power on. Stay. Remembering that these guys are breaking early. I, I will forget that for the end of the lap. I run in the back of them. Oh, a little bit of a little bit of a slide on the front there. So we're at Watkins Glen, if you didn't know, and I'm uh, side by side with this orange Lotus for yet another corner. It's the car books and weaves underneath us. And the only problem with this car is, when you get in it, you wish you got in the Lotus. And the only problem with the Lotus is, when you get in it, you wish you got in the Ferrari. Ah, gosh, that was all me. Completely got me breaking off. Straight back in because I'm not recording. I'm not starting this recording again. It's not happening. Now that little bit where you saw it kind of push out, grip up, push out, grip up is it feels like the chassis is getting overwhelmed and slightly twisted. Um, and you get this undulation going when you're on the edge of it you'll get a small amount you'll see the other cars doing it you'll get a small amount of it. if you push on it'll get worse it's a nice indicator to say you're at the limit of what the chassis can do which is uh, less than what the tires can do which is fantastic I do like that you get it a little bit in the Lotus as well, but the uh, the Ferrari, you really do feel it when you tune into the car. I'm going to have to back off here because I'm not quite sure where he was going to break then. We've already had one off. So yeah, never race these in the rain at this track. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not good. Put at least a hundred hours into the car before you try that one. Third gear, hook it up lightly. Oh, hold it. Hooked it up a bit too much on the curbs. Thought it was a rally car. Some hidden aggressive sausage yards, sausage as on these uh, corners. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to duck out of that one. On it again, just couldn't stop. That was the aforementioned uh, getting caught out by the cars braking early because they were nose to tail. Getting back up to speed, they're fighting, slowing them down. Every bump is absolutely <laughs> throwing me everywhere into top gear, into fifth. And we're going to break now. Just a big bump. We're in third. Let's try and just cruise it round in third. Use the torque of this engine just to kick us out. Whoa, back end stepping out everywhere. 
one thing this car hates is it's if you lock it up and flat spot a tire is not a good thing it unbalances the whole thing Still hurt the side of him. That's it, he's dropped back now. And this one, we've got to <laughs> not do that. Watch the curb this time, Owen. That's better. Back end just gave way over the uh, painted line there. Right, this time, break early. I'm breaking at this post at the uh, solar panel. It seems to work better. That camber there, the track, the, the track on the right-hand side there, it might as well have a hole in it. The camber drops that much on the inside, it's crazy. Get too close in, you'll lock your tyre breaking down into it. Coming a bit too quick and the back end of flick out on you up to fifth they're all having a battle again gonna break early keep it smooth keep off the power and gradually bring it on you really do get to feel the uh, the undulations on these tracks when you're in these cars everything's affecting it It's a little softer than the uh, the Lotus, mind. But you've got a nice bit of punch in the mid-range. That Lotus is trying to well break me, and he has. I'm not looking what it is. There's five laps, but I'm not looking. Because that was one of the other crashes, that. I looked at it, of course, I'm looking at a menu, and uh, yeah, wallop. <laughs> it's being emotional, guys. Get around, thank you. I mean, you keep these things in the limits, They're, uh, they are easy enough to drive, it's just finding those limits. step out as you come in they tangle themselves up watching where that orange car is he's come back on me I'm gonna to have to give him room there we go we'll flirt through here and deal with the next corner when we get to it uh, green cars at the side of me orange cars coming up alongside me as well let's squeeze them up to top braking late now he's brake later than me and the orange one has as well. Going for second. Whoa! That was a bad idea, mid corner, Owen. You didn't even blip. On the downshift, idiot. And that's completely mucked my tyres up there. Lost the back end twice. Just on lift off, oversteer. I've gone wide into here. Not the plan. I'm not looking what lap this is. I know it's the last lap and the gremlins are out to get me. Come on. These two are having a bit of a battle between themselves. Wait for it, wait for it. Now. Rears just spin up a little bit and grip again. Why turn in? on the power early the chassis just stressing over it is that the end yes it is <sighs> well I made it round in one piece right, I'm going for a lie down um, yeah thanks for watching
adios.